Next we will see write operation in HDFS. Like most conventional file systems, HDFS supports operations like read, write and delete files, and operations like create and delete directories. Consider writing log.txt file into HDFS. File size is 300 megabyte. Also cluster block size is 128 megabyte and replication factor is 3. Interaction between client and HDFS cluster is handled by HDFS client. This is a library that exports the HDFS file system interface. To write log.txt file, client must first call create method in the HDFS client library. As a result of this, an RPC call is made to the name node. The name node makes sure that that file does not already exist. It also checks whether the client has the right permissions to create the file. Only if these checks pass, file is created in HDFS namespace. That is, a record is created in the edit log as well as in the main memory. If the checks fail, then an exception is raised. Note that the data is not yet written into HDFS. Only metadata of the file is written in the name node. Now the client starts writing data of log.txt file into HDFS. Initially the HDFS client copies files data into a temporary file in the local file system. It will accumulate data worth over one HDFS block. That is 128 megabyte or end of file is encountered. Only then client will ask name node to allocate blocks in the cluster. Based on the replication factor, name node will return those many data nodes address. Here replication factor is 3. So it returned 3 data nodes. Data node 1, data node 5, and data node 6. A pipeline of these data nodes are formed. The client then flushes the data block to data node 1, in small packets. Usually 4K. Data node 1 stores packets on its disk and then forwards to data node 5. It also sends acknowledgement, for each packet received, to the client. Similarly, data node 5 stores, forwards, and acknowledges. Finally data node 6 stores and acknowledges. Thus, a data node can be receiving data from the previous one in the pipeline, and at the same time forwarding data to the next one in the pipeline. This way a block is stored in all the three data nodes packet by packet. After a block is stored in the data node, the data node will inform the name node that it has received a block. The name node will then update the block location mapping in its main memory. Remember that the log.txt file size is 300 megabyte. Only 128 megabyte is stored. Still 172 megabyte has to be stored. Same procedure is repeated. Data is copied to the local file system till the size is 128 megabyte or end of file is encountered. Then it is stored in HDFS. As a result, another block of size 128 megabyte is created in all the three data nodes. Now, 256 megabyte of data is stored. Only 44 megabyte of data has to be stored. Again same procedure is repeated. Data is copied to the local file system till the size is 128 megabyte or end of file is encountered. This time end of file is encountered. As a result, last block of size 44 megabyte is created in all the three data nodes. This is how data is stored in HDFS block by block. After writing whole data into HDFS, Client will close the file by calling close method of HDFS client library. This will indicate the name node that the file write operation is complete. Since the name node allocated the blocks, 
It stores block location mapping information in its main memory. It knows which block is stored in which data node. Finally, metadata and block location of log.txt file is stored in the name node. And actual data is stored in data nodes across the cluster. A point to be noted here. In our example all the blocks of log.txt file is stored in the same data node. In reality, name node may allocate blocks in the same data nodes or different data nodes. That is, name node can allocate second block in data node 2 and last block in data node 3. It all depends on space available on data nodes and how balanced is the cluster. Another point is that, data is directly written to the data nodes. Name node is only used for storing metadata and allocating blocks. By this design, load is distributed among the data nodes in the cluster. There will not be much load on the name node. This is why HDFS is called Scalable System. That was all about right operation.